kitten. The kitten played all day with Mitten. The kitten was cute and fluffy. When he was all done playing, he curled up in a little ball and slept on his blanket next to the wall. known as BJ. And I've got another teddy bear bedtime Bible story for you. Say, do you like to build things? If you do, then I'm sure you'll like this next story. It's about some people who build a giant tower with their bare hands. <laughs> so, lights out. Listen, and let's begin. This is the story of the Tower of Babel. Back in the Bible beginning, Many families made their homes in a faraway land called Shinar. All sorts of people lived there. Farmers, 
Time to feed the hens. Shepherds. Carpenters. And musicians. It wasn't long before Shinar became a very busy city. It was so popular, people traveled for miles to visit, to shop, and to play. Everyone who lived there started acting like big shops. They thought they were so important. <laughs> One day, the mayor of Shinar got what he thought was a great idea. Here's what we should do. Let's take Shinar and make it the center of the world. Yeah, that's it. We can build a tower right in the middle of town. Yeah, a tower so high, it'll touch the sky. Not only the sky, it'll touch heaven. Yeah, that's it. We'll be rich and famous, yeah. And we'll live right next door to God. Yeah, that's the idea. Yuck. Can you imagine having someone like that living next door to you? Well, God didn't like it either. But he waited to see what would happen. I'm sorry to say those stuck-up people of Shinar liked the mayor's idea and decided to build the tower. It would be so tall, it might even reach heaven. Oh, I can't bear the thought of it. Pretty soon, the work began. Hammering. Construction. They used fiery ovens to bake the bricks. Then they placed them on top of one another and poured in gooey stuff called mortar to hold the bricks together. The more bricks they used, the higher the tower became. Everything went smoothly and the tower got higher and higher and higher. And it looked as if it just might reach heaven. Silly. Even a bear knows you don't have to build a tower to get close to God. He's always with us in our hearts. Well, God saw what was going on and came up with an idea to stop those silly, selfish, self-important Shinarians. I will confuse their language so no one will understand each other. As soon as that happened, people started speaking in new and different languages. Languages they didn't know at all before. Everything was utter confusion. No one could understand each other. So, nobody knew what was going on. That made working together on the tower totally impossible. Hey, you there, pass me a brick. Je ne sais pas, je ne peux pas long, monsieur. Ah, what's going on? I can't understand you. I said, send over a brick. Yo no comprendo, señor. What? No, no. No. Things were really a mess. People started arguing and fighting, and pretty soon 
They gave up working on the tower. In the confusion, the tower fell apart. Look out! And all that was left was a pile of bricks and a lot of people in bad need of a dictionary. What else could they do? The people who spoke one language went off somewhere far away to live by themselves. And the people who spoke another language went off somewhere else to live by themselves. I guess words of a feather stick together. <laughs> As for the mayor, he was more confused than anybody. Uh, uh, maybe instead of a tower, I should take a shower. Yeah, that's it. I'll get a bar of soap and some shampoo, then I'll run the water, and then I'll get myself all scrubbed up. So God's people were scattered across the face of the earth. The city was given a new name, Babel, which means confusion of voices. So now you know why there are so many different languages in the world. And remember, you don't have to build a tower to be close to God and all his power. God is only a prayer away. And that is the story of the Tower of Babel.
done enough babbling for one bear. Time for a bedtime Bible song. When you turn out the light at night, God is there. Fast asleep, you're still in his sight. God is there. He's only a prayer. 